SQL Reporting Service and this is part 61 and today we are going to talk about the trend lines and story over here is we are measuring the company revenue over the period of time and this is what we are going to build so at the bottom you can see you know on the x-axis I'm plotting the number of months from Jan to December on the y-axis you can see I'm plotting the money and now that leads us to remaining two things which is a green bar and a red line now the green bar is the actual revenue of the company which is being generated every month so in Jan you can see the company made 1.5 mil in Feb the company made 2.5 mil and so on so you are getting my point right so the green bar are the specific one they have the specific data over the period of time now the red line is the actual trend line which is showing you know the company's trend over the period of time but when I say trend line and you can see you know it's a red line over there but every within the red line I have highlighted you know a specific point where it is moving on which is highlighted with the yellow color so on that it has a specific value now that specific value comes uh, based on some you know a formula some calculation you know so over here what I'm plotting is the average trend line and it is not something you know I can only work with average trend line there are a bunch of you know trend lines the formulas are given within the system which you can use like you know standard deviation then you have the mean a median and there are a bunch of other you know trend lines you can use so let's get back to the average trend line and mostly this is well you know widely used overall by you know a bunch of companies or the business whatever they need so over here we are trying to understand the beginning of the yellow point now why it has begun over there so it has begun over there because if you you know the Jan has 1.5 mil and the Feb has 2.5 mil um, um, I mean I want you to look at the orange color right these two guys if you sum them up the answer is 4 million and if you take the average out of it it's going to be 2 million and that is the place this first yellow dot is placed you can see 2 million over here now uh, moving further if you if we do the average of Feb and March so Feb has 2.5 mil and the March has 3.5 mil so if we sum them up we will get 6 mil and if you divide that you will get 3 million so that's the second point so you might getting my point how this trend line is plotted behind the scenes and like I said there are a bunch of other formulas are available in the system you can use whichever you need based on your requirement right so now let's focus on the plan what we are going to do next <clears throat> so we are uh, in the next video we will start building this report from the scratch first I will show you the database uh, what I have created it is very easy even you can create the database and what are the things I've done I'll show you that next we will add a report within a system and then we will add a chart and we'll bind it you know in such a way that we have this data right up next what we are going to do is we are going to plot a trend line you know the average one and then I will show you you know uh, how to replace the same trend line with some different calculation so this is the standard deviation then next uh, I will show you you know uh, you can add you know multiple trend lines here there's no limitation here but ideally it should make some sense right so that's what we are going to do so I hope to see you there in the next video so thank you for watching good night and take care